Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm very happy and very excited to share another video with you and just wanted to mention that my previous videos about movies and TV shows that I posted on my channel got quite uh, many views which makes me very happy and also quite many comments in the comment section which actually kind of even more excites me than the views because comments means that my channel is alive that people are watching and they are interacting with me and it really really matters to me that being said just reminding if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you have done that because i will be providing a lot of interesting content in the future and because my videos about movies that were filmed in norway and you most probably didn't know they were shooted in norway got quite a good feedback, I decided to continue this topic and also because, as I mentioned, there were quite many comments in the comments section. It also helped me to understand that, wow, there are so many movies that were actually shooted in Norway. And this time I am sharing another three with you. This is a movie, or should I also say like movie saga, that has gained a lot of attention through the years and there are so many fans and people are so obsessed with it. And yeah, I'm talking about Star Wars. More specifically, I will be talking about Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. The scene where there was this fight on this ice planet Hoth was actually filmed in Norway. This scene was filmed in a place called Finse and uh, Finse made quite a tourism business out of this uh, Star Wars shooting there. Uh, the train station of Finse is located 1222 meters above sea level and behind it lies a hotel and this hotel is actually the one where the filming crew stayed during shooting of the movie back in the 1979. How did the crew felt in the snowy and cold Finse? Well, Harrison Ford actually had quite a situation. He had hard time getting to the set. He was stuck on a snowplow for about hours trying to get there. Ultimately, he took a bottle to get him through the nightmare. As Ford tells it, I think it had come from the hotel where the crew were staying. We went, as I later found out, three hours in the wrong direction on the tracks. Then we swiveled around and went there three hours back and then continued to our destination. It was about 10 hours as I remember. I arrived in the dark with an empty bottle of scotch, which I had shared with a non-English speaking train engineer. Mark Hamill recalls the harsh conditions on the filming set in Finse. It was one of the worst snowstorms in I don't know how many years. We wound up filming right outside the lodge. I mean, if you turned the camera around, you saw people on their balconies having their hot chocolate as Harrison Ford and I were acting. I would stay bundled up right until we had to shoot, then the protective gear would come off. And obviously the wardrobe is designed to look good but not actually be practical in terms of keeping you warm in those conditions. The people of Finns actually uh, did a quite interesting uh, tradition there. Uh, each year on the February they are holding a three-day Star Wars event. So people can actually come there and have this whole Star Wars experience. You can stay in the same accommodations where all of the actors were staying. You can meet the people who are actually working with the, the filming crew on the days that the Star Wars was filmed there and you can have like conversations with them, ask questions. Also, you can of course visit the filming locations. You can also go on a glacier tour because uh, Vince has an amazing nature. As I read, there is actually no way how to get to Vince by car. Are. The only way how you can get there is by train uh, or you can walk or hike or cycle uh, on the Rallerwegen. I mean, I could go a mile or more for having this kind of experience. Would you? 
Write down in comments. During the winter, Finsa is popular for cross-country skiing and expedition training. During the summer, the recreational focus switches on a mountain cycling, walking and glacier walking. And now, here's something for Marvel fans. I actually did not know that, but one of you in the comments wrote down that Black Widow is actually also filmed in Norway. So I googled it, I checked it out, and yes, it's true. For those who don't know actually what Black Widow is and what Marvel is, first of all, I'm sorry for you. Secondly, you should start definitely do your research on this topic because it's worth it. I mean, so many movies are made, so many great movies are made around this Marvel universe. And I think even if you don't know actually what Black Widow is, that you should know somebody from the Marvel Universe, like Spider-Man, uh, Iron Man, Thor, Wolverine, Captain America, Captain Marvel, etc, etc. I guess you got the idea. In short, Black Widow is another character in the Marvel Universe gang. Black Widow is actually portrayed by the famous actress Scarlett Johansson and uh, she has already been in that Black Widow role before. In 2010 she appeared as Black Widow in Iron Man movie. Uh, that was the first appearance of her as Black Widow and uh, from that all of this journey of her as a Black Widow started. And this is now the time for her to have a solo movie. But there is a decent dose of confusion and discussion around this movie. The last time we saw Black Widow was in Marvel's Avengers Endgame, where she sacrificed herself for a cause and died. Well, it is hard to explain. You have to watch yourself, if you haven't already. So, what is this new movie? Prequel? Resurrection? Actually get to all the questions you may have had about this mysterious character and who she is, where she comes from, what are the secrets of the past that haunt her. It's a little bit scary not having the kind of cushion of my fellow Avengers around. I mean, I hate to keep using the word vulnerable, but you kind of feel like you put yourself out there in a different way because the character stands on her own. The movie was shooted in several locations and one of them was Norway. Although the movie is not released, of course it's predicted to attract a lot of uh, viewers, a lot of Marvel fans. And yeah, we are patiently waiting. Little bit about the plot, what we know so far. Following the events of Captain America Civil War, see the movie from 2016, Natasha Romanoff, who is Black Widow, portrayed by Johansson, find herself alone and forced to confront a dangerous conspiracy with ties to her past. Pursued by a force that will stop at nothing to bring her down, Romano must deal with her history as a spy and the broken relationships left in her wake long before she became an Avenger. The filming crew was first noticed in 2019 when they arrived in a small village called Sebo. I'm not sure uh, that I'm pronouncing it correctly. I am sure that I am going to receive comments about my pronunciation and if I'm not pronouncing correctly, you will tell me how to pronounce it correctly. So yeah, in 2019, they actually started to shoot uh, their scenes in Norway, in that village. Actually, this village was the first location for the filming of this movie. And an interesting fact is that at the beginning, there was a rumor that in this village, they are going to make another movie, which is going to be James Bond, but ta-da! Black Widow arrived. The filming uh, crew started to arrive in this small village and uh, the trailers were hidden under the name Blue Bayou, but people of course started to notice that there are also famous actors like Scarlett Johansson and of course it's impossible not to notice something like that in a small village like that. Uh, obviously, because in this village there is only one hotel and obviously the stars are going to stay there. The paparazzi kind of poured in. Uh, you can also see on YouTube different videos where some of the people tried to film Scarlett Johansson outside the shooting. Also, you can find on the internet uh, different paparazzi photos. But I'm not going into that yellow thing. I'm just stating a fact that the filming 
was there. Some sources say that this Norwegian village is a location where they are going to shoot the scenes of Black Widow's childhood and those who know Black Widow is actually uh, with the surname Romanov and she's in Russia so basically they are filming uh, Black Widow's childhood in Russia in Norway. What is this small village in Norway? Uh, this village has few campsites and one hotel as I mentioned before but don't be confused with its smallness. Uh, it's actually located in the heart of Sunmar Alpene and uh, the place has a very beautiful nature. Therefore, it's very good for hikes, walks and different kind of nature related activities. And it also has a ferry. All in all, if you are into this calm nature uh, related uh, vacation or holiday, this place is for you. And additional value will be the fact that you will know that Black Widow was filmed there. And if you are staying in hotel, most probably, and there's a huge chance that you will stay in the same room where Scarlett Johansson stayed. By the way, the hotel is called Sagafjord and it's in a very nice location. Uh, it's very cozy and the nature around is simply marvelous. Oh, oh my God, I like the word game. Marvel and marvelous. When can we expect to see Black Widow on cinemas? The movie has already been postponed for three times due to COVID-19, but uh, the latest information that I found is that it is going to be available on the United States on July of 2021. And let's keep our fingers crossed that we are going to see Black Widow in summer already. The next movie I'm going to talk about is called The Witches and uh, some of you most probably think about the latest movie that was released in 2020 with Anne Hathaway in the leading role. No, actually there is an older movie shooted in 1990 and it was filmed, partly filmed, in Norway, Bergen. Just wanted to add that I actually found out about this movie that was shooted in 1990 only because of your comments. So once again, thank you guys. And yesterday I watched it just to compare it with this movie that was shooted in 2020. And my opinion is that the movie that was filmed in 1919 is actually more hilarious and more appealing for me. But again, that's just my opinion. What is yours? Write down in comments. Now it's time to talk a little bit about that movie that was filmed in 1919. It is an American dark fantasy film and it is based on a book. In 1983, uh, the book of the same name was written by a writer, Roald Dahl. Although we know him as an English writer, Actually, his parents both were Norwegians, therefore he is Norwegian. And I guess this explains why the grandmother's name was Helga, which is quite typical Norwegian name for women here. I also read somewhere that the book was actually banned from some libraries in England because of misogyny, in other words, hatred to women. I do not wish to speak badly about women, the author writes. Most women are lovely, but the fact remains that all witches are women. There is not such thing as a male witch. On the other hand, a goal is always a male. Both are dangerous, but neither of them is half as dangerous as a real witch. Let's uh, dive into the story about the location. So, the witches were filmed both in Norway and in England. and. Since the first moments of the movie, you can see Norway, you can see the old city of Bergen. If we want to be precise, the shooting in Bergen took place in the old part of the city. The first part of the movie was filmed in Gamle or Old Bergen and it is a couple of kilometers out of the city center. The place is laid out in the style of Old Bergen. You can go there for a stroll and try to find buildings from the movie, like for example Helga's house. 
Also, these houses are a part of museum. At certain times you will find there actors dressed as people from old times, kind of reconstruction of the atmosphere. You can peek in windows, open doors and walk into exhibitions and historical interiors. But if you are aiming not for just a simple stroll, but to see this kind of reconstruction, you should make sure you are updated as at the moment the museum hasn't announced the opening hours for 2021. I did some digging about the filming process of the movie and I came up with some interesting stories that happened during the filming, so maybe you will be interested in knowing them. Angelica Houston is outstanding as the Grand High Witch, but she wasn't the only candidate for the role. Among those considered for the role were stars like Helen Mirren, Sigourney Weaver, Jodie Foster, Liza Minnelli and even Cher. Dahl himself approved of Houston's casting. Part of the movie was filmed in the Headland Hotel in England. Apparently, the cast was also staying there in between filming, as Rowan Atkinson, portraying Mr. Stinger, caused an infamous flood in his room. He fell asleep while the tap of his bath was open. When the portier knocked on the door to try and do something about the flood, Rowan Atkinson responded with, Go away, I'm asleep. Those who have read Roald Dahl's book know that the ending in the book and the movie differs. In the book, Luke does not turn back into a boy as in the movie. Initially, they made both versions of the ending, but they ended up using the one that we know. Dahl insisted that Luke remaining a mouse is a happy ending. Dahl also was upset and threatened to have his name taken off the movie if they choose this ending. He eventually calmed down, but the whole situation changed his opinion about the adaptation to the negative side. This is it for me today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of these three movies and three locations in Norway. I hope you will be waiting for following videos regarding the same topic and also some other topics that I am discussing on my channel. If you don't want to miss them out, please make sure you have pressed the subscription button, also notification bell and of course put some likes below video, write down in comments and see you next time!